Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Open Resilience 4 as the Oirat Horde. Yes, we're closing in on the end of the game right now. I believe it is like 35 or something like that years left. Uh, but that's okay, we had a good run. Uh, I have had, have had some suggestions of people wanting me to invade Japan. Uh, but I'm just going to say straight away that I'm not actually going to do that, I'm sorry. But uh, it's mainly just because I feel like... Um, I, I, I want to continue invading this area if I'm going to do anything at all. Of course, my main focus right now would be to finish off Pegu. Maybe even do Champa as well. I think that might look cool. Uh, they are in the coalition, right? Yeah, they are both of them. So, yeah, none of those would be optimal. But uh, the thing about Japan is that it consists of so many provinces. So if you wanted to sort of conquer Japan, then I think it I would you know it would have to be a little bit more thought through. Like I guess if I wanted to take Japan, I would have to, I would most likely try and do the same thing as I did when I annexed the Ming uh, by like um, wow where are why are there no Ming cores here? Nope, oh, there you go. Nope, that's a Shun core. Oh, that's interesting. There's no no longer any Ming cores or anywhere. It's all Oirat Horde now. Wow. Okay. Interesting, but yeah, you get the idea. Whenever I conquered the Ming, I did this strategy where I, you know, conquered or I released a bunch of nations and then forced them to and then vassalized the Ming and gave all the land back to them. I think a the same strategy would kind of work for Japan. It wouldn't be as efficient, but it would sort of be the same thing. Because uh, oh no, wait no, it doesn't no. It seems like the majority of those little clan nations are actually gone. Here, here's one, but uh, so I guess it wouldn't actually work that well. Well, never mind then. We do have a decision, uh, but that's a shitty decision, so I'm not going to do that, so to hell with that. We also have a claim. Not that I care, but, you know, we have. We can also build some buildings, so why don't we do that? Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to build. Maybe some more fortifications? Sure, let's build some fortifications in the border provinces. At least the provinces that will most likely stay border provinces until the end of the game. That makes sense. Wow, we don't even have a level 2s in a couple of these provinces. That is quite pathetic. Gonna make sure we build that. And now we don't long no longer have any points, so we're not gonna be fortifying anything. Uh, let's build some more marketplaces. Get some more trade going. Especially in this sort of central Chinese area, because that's where the main trade is going on. Uh, where the valuable stuff is made, anyways. I guess we can also build some revolt risk things, why not? Especially in these newly acquired provinces, or the provinces without Mongol culture, I think, are the ones I would want to focus on. Like that, maybe? Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, now we can keep going. Persia, okay, that's fine. That's actually really good, I think, because Persia is in the coalition, right? Yup. So, oh yeah, Brunei has left the coalition. Now I can finally do what I want. Yeah, no. Oh well, but I guess it's better than nothing. What? Brittany? Really? Brittany has colonies in Indonesia. Because logic. That's why. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, let's get ourselves this one. I don't really... I would much rather have better military technology. And we also have a uh, missionary not doing anything, so let's see if we can find him. I cannot do this one because... Amaravati. What? Amaravati, here we go. Amaravati. Amar here we go, this one. Uh, currently making it into... Oh, wow, okay, I haven't cored these places yet. Kind of thought I had, but I guess I... I have not. What's my overextension? Ah, my overextension is fine. No problem. Get some power. Sure, why not? Quebec is finally... Er, you know, the Americans are finally finishing off the Indians. That took forever. I guess that's not necessarily a positive thing, but, you know, it's something. Um, yeah. Black day for the church. Sure. Oh, still studying colony. Oh, was that Hawaii? Yeah, it was. Nice. Okay, good. That means we can find another island. That's not island. Uh, 
None of these things are islands. And those that are, are like colonized already. Oh, we got some nice islands down here though, so I'd, why don't we you take them? I could like colonize some proper land, but I don't feel like doing that really. So that wouldn't look very nice on the map. Wasteland, really? Okay. They really need to reorganize their wastelands in this game, I think. My opinion, anyways. Alright, let's do this one. Low aggression and all that, so that should work out. And we have nationalists. Dead nationalists, but uh, nationalists nonetheless. Um, okay. Has no, I totally said I didn't want to do that. I wish you could just like right click this one and just make it go away. Could produce. No, let's get some points. Muscovy starts liking me. Not to hell with that. I want legitimacy. Privileges have to be earned. You did no. Oh, um, I did right click it. Okay. Conquer Urgench. Prepare. Create fortress. That sounds fun. Fortresses. All of them. That's a star bastion though. Sit in here. No, that's a redoubt. Fortresses are like the last thing, aren't they? Yep, they are. Um, now, where did I... Where did that guy want me to build a fortress? That's something to try and check. Uh, Bashkuristan. Okay. Let's find that. Bashkuristan. There we go. It's right here. Alright, currently getting converted, so we won't be, um... This is this is a weird, very weird bug, the fact that my guys look European and they don't even have guns. Awkward indeed. Uh, but that's fine, you know, no big deal. But yeah, I think uh, I would prefer to try and kick some people out of this coalition. So I'm gonna go in and... We already... No, we have not improved relations with these people. So I'm going to improve relations with Pegu. I'll do the same thing with, uh, although these guys hate me though, yeah, they don't like me very much. I did recently conquer uh, some of their territories, so never mind them. Uh, let's instead do someone else, such as no guy. Good old no guy. How about you? Oh wow, yeah, look at that, 500. Yeah, no, they're not going, they're not going to go out of the coalition, sorry about that. So I guess we can instead try and focus on getting some of the other people out of this. Like the... Oh, I'm already improving relations with the Persians. Uh, who else important is in this coalition? Uh, Japan, but Japan doesn't matter. They're fine. Akron is kind of annoying. Yeah, let's try and get rid of Akron. But they do also... I'm pretty confident they are not going to... Yeah, no. I think we're just going to have to fight the coalition. So I'm just going to wait until these places core up and then I'm going to invade Pegu. Um, yeah, that's the plan. And we shall annex them. Of course, it would be nice to kick them out of the coalition. Let's try and give them some money. See if that helps. Hey, you're gonna go out of, try and bribe them out of the coalition. Nope, you're not interested. Well, I didn't like you anyways. Uh, poor Iron. Okay. Yeah, we court Hawaii. That was quick. All right, I'll uh, make a cut here, and I'll come back once something interesting happens. Okay, we are back, and I have pretty much now cored up this stuff. It's not perfectly cored up yet, but it will be, like, any moment. So I think we're ready to declare war. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to kick out these guys of the coalition, so I think we might just have to declare war on them and just deal with the consequences of coalition wars. Uh, so let's go and move up towards the border and uh, get some leaders and all that. I'll just keep this army here. This should be able to block it. I'm currently building a, a upgraded fort here, building a level 7, and I'm planning to build a level 9. Uh, that should make it so that no one ever again can move through this mountain pass. Uh, this area is not as well fortified, but I think it's not going to be a problem. Uh, no. So you guys are indeed in the coalition, so I guess moving quickly in and knocking you guys out would be a good idea. What's my force limit at right now? Uh, I can recruit more troops actually. F only four more, but still, that's something. Uh, where the hell are all my troops? I feel like I don't have that many. I don't need you guys chilling in Korea, that's kind of pointless. I would prefer having guys over here fighting no guy. Muscovy, are you in the coalition? You're not, and I'm going to try and keep it that way. Um, yeah. No, they they, they like me pretty well. Kind of, not really, but they're, they're fine. 
No problem. Muscovy. It's all good. So that's fine, okay. Uh, my guy's in position. Nope, not perfectly, but they're working on it. Uh, I can recruit one more leader, so why don't we do that? Take a leader and production or trade. Now let's do trade just for the lulls. I know I'm earning a lot more from production, but I still want to become good at trade, so yeah, I'm earning it quite a lot of this though. I a lot, quite a lot from it, and I took the trade ideas, I believe. So if I, I can get these ones up, then I am going to be going. I'm going to be gaining a lot more merchants, which is nice because that's going to be allow allow me to put merchants in a lot of. Because you can see, I, I own a lot of these trade nodes, or owning them is a little over, over the top, but still. I mean, there's a lot of... Oh, wow. I was about to say there's a lot of value here, but there's, like, no value. Really? Because... 100%. In Cyprus? What? You dicks. What the hell are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you send trade to this place? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Uh, well, I think that once we can get some merchants in here and use our trade power for something good, then we might be able to stop some of this outflowing trade. Try and just keep it uh, central. Keep it ours. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to work out. Should give us more money. Uh, nope, not interested. Alright, uh, let's take the war. Once this guy's... There we go. He's uh, reached his destination, so let's go. Or not, we can just like not do it. Really, I kind of expected to have. But what? They are. Oh, yeah. I guess that's what happens when they're in the... when they are the same religion, same government form, and same everything. It's like perfect for not. Uh... Oh, it's perfect for not. Uh... For me, not having a coalition against them. Oh, there we go. Again, go and gain those core provinces. Let's go ahead and convert these fuckers to Buddhism. Put some harsh treatment there, just because I don't want to send troops over there right now. And Delhi has left the coalition. Who would have thought that would be a thing? Especially after I fabricated a claim on these guys. So that's that makes this army right here kind of pointless. Let's go and send it over here instead. So they can do something good over there. So I created a fortress over there, and that's nice. Let's go ahead and improve defenses in Taranki. I'm just doing all of these missions. Taranki. Down here, okay. Sure, let's get a star fort down there. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, I'm just speed up the game. Wait for this claim to finish. Don't see why not. Alright, keep going. Wow, these guys only have three bronzes left. Huh, I actually conquered all, over half their nation whenever I invaded them back there. Hey, let's get ourselves a, um, another merchant. So let's put him in this place. See if we can, because this is a very valuable place, of course. It's not going to be that super valuable, because currently all of these guys are sending the value up here. Thereby increasing this one's value, but still, I think this should work out. Not very good at this, but, you know. Uh, yeah, look at that. Now, now this one became less valuable, but now I am earning... Now the value of this place went up, because now they're not... Because uh, I have a lot of the power here. Because I literally own every region within this trade node, so... Uh, I should probably try and increase that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some... I guess marketplaces are nice and all, but I would prefer to build some some better building trade depots. Wow, well, I already have that, really. Okay. Let's go build them in... Uh, I want to sort of build trade buildings in all of China. So that we can gain all the trade. All of it. Alright. Now then, uh, are we ready to go to war yet? I don't think we are. No, we are not. We will get there, though. There we go. Nice. So, let's go. Let's go to war. Take Herpiderpia, and... Are we funding the military? We are. Okay, I never actually took it away. So, Japan became the war leader. That's... That's kind of shitty, actually. That's not good at all, because that's going to make it so that we have to convince Japan to give us the stuff we want. That might not be too easy. 
What's our military technology, by the way? 19, 20... Wow, okay, we are very superior to these guys, but Japan, though... Yeah, we are also rather superior to Japan, so no, we should be fine. Should be fine, so let's go ahead and start invading... Um, all of these other fuckers over here that we are at war with. Source, like, no guy. Okay, so go down there, let's just finish off... Finish off the Timurid, sort of as a starter. Um, I start... Oh yeah, that's right, we're actually fighting Persia as well. So maybe not. No, eh? I guess we'll just run around, kill some armies to gain some war score. That should work as well. There we go. We improve the defenses. Uh, now you're going down there. Let's go down there as well. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and leave a siege here. Five might be a little too much. Yeah. Oh wow, they actually have a level four. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed. That's le I'm legitimately impressed. Uh, oh crap, Hindustan is in the collision. A little bit late, but uh, you know, still. Right, let's go kill off these Champa herps. What's the... Uh, how much troops, by the way, do Japan have? Uh, can you... There we go. Poland... What, really? Poland has more troops than I have. I, that, wow, that's a surprise. That's a really big surprise. I am crushing them in vampire, but still. Holy shit. Uh, that that, that uh, doesn't even make sense. They don't even have the close to that force limit. What? No. You know, I, I, I think I'm just going to have to recruit some more troops here. I can't accept having Poland being stronger than me. I mean, look at this nation. It's fucking covering... All of Asia, almost, not really. Um, let's go and build 10 more troops then. So that they will learn a lesson. That we are indeed the most badass nation. Uh, no, let's build it over here. Sure, I think I have more buildings over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, then I am totally recruiting mercenaries, am I? Uh, no, I'm not. I guess I was about to do it, but I wasn't. Okay, so... Uh, 7, 8, and then 9, 10. And then we'll have a nice 10-man army. I guess 10,000-man army, but still. Colonize Herbidurpia. Rule the seas. Uh, any known country? Okay, wow. No, not really. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so let's do the whole colonization thing instead. That should be a long-term goal. Alright, let's go occupy Akron. Or Arakan, whatever. Why, why am I so bad at mis- or so good at misspelling these names? Like when I said Oirat, no, o Oriator, like I said at the beginning of the Let's Play. Uh, funny. Should be a comedian. Alright, uh, so we go there, you split up a little bit and go slaughter them. Really, you just walk through my guys, that's not kind of you. I guess I'm gonna win anyways though, so it's fine. Yeah, we got this nation, all locked down now. And other than the fact that they actually do have... Oh shit, um... Okay, you go there. You go there, and you go there, or not, go like so. And then we'll use those armies to kill this one. Alright. Oh shit, we have a, a lot of invaders. Let's go in and solve that. Uh, what's the fort level here? Two. Let's go in and leave two derps over there to derp around. While these derps derp around derp there. Yeah, I'm totally derping today. Oh, you go, go go that way. Clean up the troops. Ah, never mind. There's one. Oh, wow, they actually have some troops over there. I guess this army over here can deal with them, no problem. Once they've killed the Arakanian troops, so you go up here and help out. Help out over there instead. I lose ability or lose money. I can lose the money, no problem. I have a lot of money. I don't have a, I don't have a, don't have a lot of stability, though, so... Shit, these are the guys with the um, stupid forced march, so... Oh, that's annoying. Why the hell did I choose trade ideas when I should have chosen offensive? Oh well. 
Nope. Oh, fuck. One second there I thought my game crashed, but nope. We're still good. Um, Where are you going? Come back here. Seriously, where are you moving? Where are you moving at, brah? Oh shit, okay, never mind. I. That's the annoying thing about fighting a war on multiple fronts. Keep forgetting that you are fighting a war on multiple fronts, so this kind of shit happens. I lose all these sieges. Which is not fun, but oh well. Hey, we're finishing finishing sieges over here though, so let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. Oh, self-sustaining colony. Okay, let's find the region which the mission told us to colonize. Menade. That should work out. Menade. That's right here. Eh, I don't really... Ah, oh, fuck. And it's already... Not, another guy's already seeding it. Uh, I mean, colonizing it. So never mind. Sorry about that little mission. I'm not gonna colonize that one. Uh, let's instead do like... Some island where no one lives. I don't want any competition from the natives. Um, I guess pretty much all colonized by now. Yeah, wow. Okay. They're all taken. That was fast. The only one is like this one. Like these these ones are left. I know that. I'm not blind. But uh, it's just that I... There's a decent chunk of natives there. And they're quite aggressive. So it's going to be a pain in the ass to colonize the place. That's kind of what I wanted to avoid. Really now? Oh, guess who just recruited an army? Surprise, bitches! Um, I can do another idea, but I want to save my points so that I can... Um, let's do tax. No, let's do trade, actually. Let's, get, uh, let's become awesome at trade. Just stop all the trade from uh, China to Europe. No silk for you. Alright, now these guys are done. You go down and slaughter them and just move over here. Should all work out. And yeah, it seems like we've been able to push out the hordes in this area out of our nation. So that's good. Let's go in and kill some more hordes and some Persians. That should all work out. Oh, there we go. Uh, Dornogovi University, really? Uh. Sik ukul sik ille manus the uh, 1791 gradi gr fuck gr graduating class at Dornogovi University is exceptional as the graduation festivities die down whole classes of fresh graduates report for duty across the country where shall we direct them to the administration I mean, this this sounds like a super badass event, and it, all it gives you is like ten administrative po administrative points. <laughs> That's like okay, thank you, game, for being so thoughtful. No, oh, ah, uh, you go get back here. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? Go into perm. Why are you standing in Russia? I guess today. Oh crap! Okay, that that's an army. You actually have an army. I am impressed. I actually lost. Whew, okay. Um, alright, I mean, I, yeah, that's, that's interesting, it's very interesting that I actually lost that. Of course, it is not a surprise, it's just that I actually lost the battle. It's like ages since that has happened now. Can this army here please just die? I would really appreciate that. Of course, me chasing it around like this is really gaining me a lot of war score, but it's just the... Oh crap, yeah, I keep losing this. Now they're running all the way, oh, oh wow, they all lost, okay, they all kind of died. Not healthy for the war score, but oh well. Let's uh, let's occupy Champa. That should give us a nice war score. Yep, there you go. Do like so. You guys can split up as well. Then we'll totally just finish off this area, and then we'll start talking to Japan. See what they're up to. See what they would be willing to accept. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep chasing. What? Self-sustaining... Ah, oh, I have two colonies at once. That's why it's so fast. Sure. Uh, go over there then. Or not. You can just like not go over there. Shit, I think that's the end of it. I think that's all the islands that was ever going to be colonized here. Alright, it was a nice... We had a nice go. Nice run. It's fine. Uh, so I think that's the end of colonization as we know it. Um, there are no more... 
areas that we can colonize anyways, or at least the areas that I want to colonize. Could always do... I guess I can't, I mean, I can't really see anything. No provinces that are not currently getting colonized. <laughs> Alright, the GG. GG colonization. Oh, no, here we go. Madagascar. Nope, it's getting colonized by some derp. Yeah, the European real Europeans really got around to colonizing in the late game here. That's fine. Understandable. Jesus fucking Christ, I need forced march. There we go, finally caught him. I guess they maybe like ran out of military points or something like that. That would be my guess anyways. Lose ability. Oh well, let's go ahead and uh, get that back. We are gaining so much monthly now, holy shit. Uh, yeah, all, our, all, our, all of our advisors are level 3. And mother god, I do I have a lot of money. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, let's go and build some more expensive buildings, just so that I don't have to... Um, uh, just so that I don't have to, so that I can spend a lot of money without having to spend a lot of points. Let's do like that. It's fine for now. I guess that's kind of what you gotta have to do. It's what you have to do in the late game. Because you have so much money. Normally I wouldn't complain about money, but... Portugal, really? Okay. Portugal, Portugal and Great Britain, the only nations that actually did any colonization in India. That's something you don't really see um, too often in this game, I feel. Like, uh, nations actually doing any colonization in India. I've, se I've barely seen that. This is like the first time I actually see any of that happening. Um, uh, so I guess we have to do it, uh, do it ourselves. Not in this game, though, but I do have some other plans. I do have another campaign going right now, the Provence campaign. That is not over. I'm just... Just haven't been recording that for a while. I kind of just want to finish up this one. Because um, I have some other plans. There's a couple of other... Or there's one more There's one more Let's Play that I'm pretty confident that's going to come up soon. And then there's a little bit of a mini Let's Play that I'm thinking thinking of doing. That's more just of a joke though. Or just as a little silly thing that I kind of discovered and I kind of want to show off. So it's nothing serious, but still, it's worth mentioning. Uh, but yeah, this army here is ready now to get back into the fight. So let's send them over there before they take anything. Wow, look at that. I have like 54 war score and I have only occupied three provinces or so. That's impressive. Impressive indeed. Uh, shit. Oh well. I need to build up my fortresses in this area. This can't continue. Oh yeah, that's right. I have, oh, I have also occupied this area, of course. Stupid me for getting stuff and things and yeah. Are these guys willing for peace yet? They are. If I did that... No. Really? Is that that expensive? Is that so damn expensive to you? So like, like that? Wow, I can't even do that, okay. I guess I'll have to only do Pegu this time around then. I guess I could grab something over here, but to be honest, I'm not that interested. Uh, eh, we'll see how it goes. I think if, the, if I can get them to accept this PS treaty right here, then I'm fine. Not too, too interested in anything else. Okay, you go down there. They actually have a navy. I should kill their navy with my navy, because my navy is also here. And it's worthy. Alright. Uh, you guys can go over here. Help out this kind of pathetic situation. Yeah, wow. They're just occupying everything right now. Not funny. Can you please run out of military points? I would really appreciate that. What? Okay, that's understandable. Jesus fucking Christ. Please die. Oh, I want forced march so bad. At least they're taking a bunch of attrition from this. Yeah, making a lot of progress here. Not. <laughs> oh shit. Oh crap, really? You just... What? No! Can I, can I have peace now? No? <sighs> Alright, let's do this a little bit properly planned this time around. Let's everybody everybody join up here. In the mountain passes, and then we'll do sort of a combined attack. Oh crap, they're actually going to attack me. Okay, um, not cool. Do you have a general? You don't have a general. Have a general. There you go, now we have a general. 
Uh, nope, seems like they have given up on the idea. I guess they got scared because of the whole general thing. Yeah. Peace, please? No? Fuck you too? Okay. I'm just never going to get these guys. Let's just make them go in circles. Just chase them around. Yeah, no, and they of course go in the exact opposite opposite way. I really wish there was sort of an automatic chase button in this game, like so that you could tell your army to automatically chase down routing units. Because that's what I feel I I would want to have right now. Alright, let's go join up. And these guys are ready. Back again. Yeah, they've been, they've, they're splitting up right now, so that's good for me. Use that to our, to our advantage. There you go. Peace now. Uh, nope. No peace. Okay. I guess it's mainly because um, the uh, it's since it's the Japanese that are... Um, oh, come on. It's because it's the Japanese that are the war leader. Since we haven't destroyed the army, they're kind of like not in the mood to gain any peace treaties um, without sort of um, us destroying their army first because they I guess they sort of think they can win if they do it like that and they, they obviously cannot what's the military technology of the Timurids I mean Persia 26 so yeah uh, we can't just straight out attack them I think we might have to think this a little bit more through but if I can get some superior numbers like this then uh, we should be fine so, yeah, they're moving into there, not fun. Yeah, you are all just marching in there, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's gonna be the loss, I mean, a loss for me if I can't get in here. Uh, I did win though, actually. Wow, okay. Mm, yeah, let's go chase them down. You're going to this place, let's follow you. This army can try and chase down some of these other armies. Sieging my stuff. Oh, there we go. You can get peace now. Nice. So, yeah. I don't think you're going to bother doing anything else. I think we're fine with this peace treaty right here. I could ask for some more land, though, but... Ugh. No, no, let's not bother. Send the demands. And there we go. Pego is finally non-existent anymore. Great. Let's go and core it up. Core it up. Get some... Uh, wow, look at that. That's a lot of uh, technology. I should have done that earlier. Oh well. Green Depot. We can s no, we cannot do another, another idea, but that's fine. Wow, oh, we can do it another time. Wow, okay. Yeah, we are just boosting our technology all the way. Look at that. We are yellow now. Yes. Progress. <laughs> now 25 years left, so we have passed 10 years so far in this episode. So it's like the most technologically advanced nation in the world right now. 30. Uh, eh? I mean, they're rather advanced, but we're not that far away. It's mainly in uh, diplomatic and administrative that we are far behind. But that's cool, though, because we are currently boosting those up quite quickly. So we should be fine. Quite fine. And yeah, I know I, I, know I lost my colony. Um, it just got colonized by someone else, but... Oh, well. I'm, I don't really feel like fighting for these colonies anymore. I got my fair share of colonies to say that, say it that way, so... I'm not disappointed. Not at all. Okay, um... Idea time. Grand... Oh wow, we actually have offensive ideas. Forgetting green forces, forgetting. Okay then, uh, let's go ahead and get Grand Army. And one more, and we will have, um... Force March! Shit, I should have done that earlier. Oh well. Free Trade. Merchant Adventures. Adventure! I don't really need that much prestige, we might as well take the money. Oh crap, no level 3s really? Okay. Uh, let's build some buildings and upgrade our units. Uh, impulse Infantry. During the war of the Austrian succession. Alright. Sure. Impulse infantry. Perform the Latin Hussar. Ulan. Carbineers. Ah, so much, so many things to choose from, man. So the Ulans. I remember them from um, 
Empire Total War. Uh, flying battery. Sounds badass. Uh, a strategy heavily focused on speed and mobility. The artillery would move to one point on the battlefield, lay their charges, and then quickly relocate to the next attack point and in rapid succession. Okay. Force limits. Oh wow, look at that. Our force limits just bumped up quite a bit. How nice. Uh, let's... Ah, oh, we just got Grand Army. That increases the force limits. Alright, let's uh, get some more troops then. Damn. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's build them over here. Just, I'm just gonna spam. I am not gonna pay too much attention to exactly what I build right now, as I can build quite a lot without taking any penalties or anything, so we should be fine. So, I don't feel like building more than one troop in each region, so I don't think that's necessary, so... Let's do like that. I'll, I'll just disband someone if it shows that I can't have this many troops, so... Yeah. Okay. And then we'll, we'll do some lovely artillery. Uh, sure, let's spam. Spam all the things. And there we go! A lot of the troops are getting recruited. Kinda wish it told you, like, whenever you recruit a new unit, it sort of showed up right here, so you could sort of get an idea how many guys you have recruited. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, no, nope, it's closing in. Nope, nope, there we go, we just passed it. Yeah. Ah, uh, we went a little bit over, but I'm still earning a bunch of money though, so, nah, I'm fine with this. I do need the troops, so, I mean, yeah. Guess you guys can go over there then. And this army, yeah, I totally forgot to reorganize my dudes. Go hang on a Pegu, kill any revolt that might pop up. Well, of you derps. All unite in there. Alright, that means you as well. 74 for or 74 people can hang hang out over there. So yeah, this should be fine. Alright. Um colonial enthusiasm or no, let's just do overseas income because I'm not actually having uh, having any colonies right now, so we don't need it. And there we go, 79 new troops ready to die for the Emperor. I guess it's legit that we call ourselves an empire right now. But it is really annoying that you can't adopt the Imperial Administration like you could in um, Europe and Rosales 3. I really think you should be able to do that. Because the basic, like, because uh, adopting Imperial Administration kind of worked a little bit different from uh, just changing in government. Because Imperial Administration was basically, once your, once your nation was big enough to, to be regarded as an empire, you could do, like, a decision uh, that just turned your nation into an empire. Uh, because, you know, you, you, strictly speaking, were already an empire, so it's... So it was reasonable to say that you should be allowed to call you one as well. And I really like that. So, I think they should, I think they should bring that one back. I really do. Okay, um, yeah, we are really closing in on the game right now. Or, we're really closing in on the end of the game, and I, I don't know, I don't know if I really want to do too, too much more. Getting kind of tired, um... I want to move on to some other things, but I'm going to, of course, finish it all. But I don't think I'm going to do too much, though, till the end of the game. I would like to conquer this province and this province, but that's about it. Uh, so I'm going to do another invasion of Nogai. And then we'll see how that goes. Unless, of course, Kwara Konyu or however you pronounce these guys, totally just annex them right now. But that would actually be really nice if they did. Because these guys are not in the coalition against us, so that would be really helpful if they could annex all these lands right here. Go, Quaraconyu! How about the money? Let's support them a little bit. Make sure they conquer no guy. Come on. Go, go, go! Conquer all the things! Let's get a mission. Uh, improve defenses. Brethren, really? We have some brethren? In a, um... Where? Ah, right here. Uh, I guess. Sure, we can do that. It's gonna give us a nice cast of spell against these guys. They have a truce right now, though, so we can't really do anything as we speak. But, uh, I mean, it's a, a nice sort of endgame goal, I think. To have that. So I guess that we can try and do that. Uh, I'm pretty confident that we might... We most likely will not be able to do all of it. 
But conquering Champa and taking, you know, this region and this region is sort of some nice end game goals. We might not achieve it simply because we don't have that much time. But still, it is a worthy goal, I think. Once I've done that, I'm going to stop doing anything at all. Archipelago Frigate. Alright then, uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as the Oirat Sword. And until next time, bye.